Welcome to this video tutorial where I'll be demonstrating how you can insert and use multi-maps within your iMyMap 5 workspace. The best way to visualize multi-maps is to imagine your white canvas being an endless piece of paper where you can draw and create as many new mind maps as you wish. Not only are multi-maps great when you have a large subject matter that you wish to mind map, but they're also fantastic when you're presenting, and I'll show you how you can use multi-maps and the arrow functionality within the 3D presentation view shortly. Okay, let's get started. Firstly, we're going to look how you insert a new central idea into your canvas. Now under the insert menu on both the Windows and the Mac, you'll see an option labeled central idea. If you simply click on this, the multi-mapping dialog box will appear. This will let you know that you are creating a multi-map. If I click OK, I'm presented with various central idea images for me to select. I'm going to pick this one in the top right hand corner. As you can see, the central idea image has now been included onto my workspace. As you can easily see, my new central idea has been added to my workspace for me. So if I select this and call this multi map 2, I can now continue my mapping using the normal functionality to create a new mind map in my workspace. Very, very quick, very, very easy. The second option to create multi maps is to use the drag and drop functionality from an existing branch. This is very, very useful when you have a very large mind map and you realize that one branch you've created actually should be its own mind map. Now to achieve this, we're going to hold down the Alt key on your keyboard, select the desired branch, click and drag this anywhere into the workspace. And you can see now that I have a gray outline representing my branch and its two descendants. If I release, again, we have the multi-map and dialog box to let me know that I am creating a multi-map. So I'll click OK. As you can see, the keyword branch is now my central idea text, and the two descendants, alt and hold, are now main branches from my central idea. And as before, I can continue my mapping to my heart's content. As mentioned earlier, multi-maps are a great way to present within our 3D view. Each map will be shown independently, and by using the relationship arrows to connect your multi-maps, you can create interactive hotspots to link your various multi-maps. Not only is this fantastic for navigation, but also looks really good whenever you're presenting. I'll demonstrate this now. If I select Relationship under the Home tab, I'm going to draw a relationship arrow between the branch labeled D&D &D and the branch labeled Alt. It's that quick and easy. Now when I go into the 3D mind map view, under the view, Okay, here's my main multi-map, and as you can see, on the branch labeled D&D &D for drag and drop, there's the relationship arrow going off and it ends in a round hotspot. If I simply click on this hotspot, you can now see that I've been navigated to my attached multi-map where I drew the branch just seconds before. It is really that quick and easy. Have a go yourselves.